Hi, I'm KB with the Beat. How are you both? Good. How are you? Sweet. I love your backdrop. Yes. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you too. I'm doing well. This was so cute. Oh my goodness. It's the best. I've seen all of them. So this was a great Aww. installment to add to the franchise. I'm so happy to hear that. Yes. So my first question is, um, and it's for both of you, and I'll start with you, Malia, to answer first. But what do you think is the greatest lesson that Red and Chloe learned from their mothers before Ooh. the big time jump that really helps them on this journey? Before the big time jump. Before. This is, what do they this learn is a specific question. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got to think for this one. I got to think too. <laughs> I, I feel like, it's well, tricky. I'll touch on Chloe. I feel like Chloe learns from her mother that if you follow your heart and like do good by what you believe in, like good happens in the world. I really, I think Brandy almost brought that to her Cinderella is that like, if you put good stuff out there, good things will come back to you. And I think that's what Chloe literally lives by, which she gets torn down by the end of the movie, but <laughs> she always has the best intentions, which I think we can all learn from. It's her moral code. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I and that. I would say for, for Red, it was definitely her mom always preached that it's better to be feared than loved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So lovely. Which she learns <laughs> later. It's not the case. It's, yeah. it's true. It's true. She kind of puts a little fear into Chloe in the beginning, but they get there. True. You know, like right. You know. Chloe. Chloe there. rubs off on her. Yeah. Right. Right. I think that they do a little exchange. Even you know they're oh, trying yeah. to both pick up from each other for sure. Totally. Definitely. And so um, my next question, and I will start with you this time. I'm Kylie to answer first, but what do each of you think is the best part of Red and Chloe's friendship? And how have you kind of taken that into your own personal friendships after working on this project? Mm. Uh, I think their relationship is just so inspiring in the sense that they literally could not be more opposite. Yeah. I think that each of them represent everything that they've been told is not good and um yeah i think that they kind of reflect they almost are like mirrors of each other in the sense that they reflect the parts that they almost could work on in the Very other one true. yes oh, i feel like i just blew my own no mind i feel saying like that. i was just like I, I need to talk to the writer like what's going on yeah uh-huh but i feel like this right i feel like that sounded way more profound than i actually <laughs> thought it was going to be yeah um no but i think that they kind of pick up where the other one lacks and they they really learn to just like i don't know is celebrate what makes them different and i hope that that can yeah, inspire people to make more friendships, even with people that you wouldn't necessarily have things in common with. Mm -hmm. I think that there's so much to explore in that as well. For sure. I've had friends like that start out with like Red and Chloe have. Oh. No, legit. <laughs> you start off sword fighting we them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we start off and not that it's just it's just like you would never imagine being friends with a, someone and then suddenly you're like, let's have a sleepover for five days in a row. And it's like, I love you so much. So <laughs> you can't really say anything. The enemies to lovers. No, seriously. It's <laughs> it's such a sweet and beautiful um, friendship to see blossom on screen. And they contrast each other in such the perfect way that I think it did a little inspire Just like a lot. me and Malia. Yeah. Oh. I Actually, I don't it. think we're very different. No, we're though. not. We're actually kind of like the same person. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, actually, we're twins. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, well, I love it. I love it. Celebrating each other's differences. I think that is the core of, of the message of the film. And so I can't true. wait for audiences to see it. Hi, I am Katie with <laughs> the Beat. How are each of you? Hi, Hi. 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 Lovely to meet you all. This film is so adorable. I was just telling Kylie and Malia, like, it's such a great addition to the franchise. Um, yes, and so you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So my first question is for all three of you, but I'll start with you, Morgan, to answer first. So do you think that with time being altered, we could see a world where your three characters can actually be friends when everything is all said and done? Oh, for all three characters? For all well, three can be friends. And, well, <laughs> this one too? No. Yes, really, yes. Really, I'm like, I think that 
<laughs> this would depend. I'm sorry to use your no, character. No, go ahead, go ahead. I think that would really depend on if Uliana has an open mind to it. Because I mean, she wanted, I feel like you wanted Bridget's downfall and now oh, she, she didn't have it. Down. She didn't have it because they altered the timeline. So it's like, are you going to join our side well, or are you going to stick to your guns? What do you think? Ooh. Well, here's, here's what I'm thinking, okay? Was it really Uliana's fault? She was trying to be nice, help Bridget out, and what happened? What? She got turned she into a tax. Well, she, well, hold on, hold on. She tried to help her out. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the film, but I definitely tried to help her out. You know, with okay. with her with her treats. You know, nobody was eating them, and so I I wanted to help out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had an open heart. I told you not to eat that many, girl. I told you. You did. You did. In a mean way. It's all in the tone. So you said it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Period. So I love it. It's open. I think that I love that you tried to spin it to say Uliana was helping out by eating her treats. I'm like, now wait a minute. I, I, yeah, I, not support. I was showing my support. I was being a friend. She caught that. I'm starting to be confused. <laughs> I'm taking okay, Uliana's well, manipulation. <laughs> to, to Morgan's point, I guess if Uliana is open, yeah, then everyone yeah. else might be open. Yeah, I think so. Because she's the leader. She's yeah, kind of like the leader of the I'm pack. not the bully. You know, the leader. I like that. The leader, instead of saying bully, she's the leader. She's the yeah. leader. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. And so I, I also have to ask the three of you, because the musical performances are so great in this one, like so vibrant. I love the music. So what was your favorite kind of musical number to perform? And I can start with you this time, Ruby. Ooh. Oh gosh. Um, I think for me, it was probably life is sweeter. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was just so much fun. That was the first thing that I started working on when I first got on set with, um, Ashley Wallen, who's our choreographer is also yeah. the first week that I like got to meet everybody yes. in a song where, um, the rest of the cast at Merlin Academy is introduced. And I just think it's such a fun number. And it also showcases Bridget's personality a lot, which is really yeah. awesome. So, um, yeah, life is sweeter. Ooh, okay. And what about for you, Dara? Oh, um, I'm biased. I'm gonna say perfect revenge. <laughs> I just thought it was like so fun to like do the little <laughs> dance, like kind of like thriller-esque. So it was really cool and fun to film too, because I've never been in like where I'm just like it's just dark and I'm just like, uh, like uh in the in the lair, in the Uliana oh, lair. Ooh, it was ooh. fun. <laughs> ooh. Okay, and last but not least, Morgan. Yes, yes. Um I'm just gonna like say it. I I loved performing Life is Sweeter, but I mm -hmm. think there's something so fun about Get Your Hands Dirty because there's such a journey throughout the song. Like yes. at the beginning, I'm just like, girl, come on, like, let's go. And then by the end, you know, we like have oh, this like really cute, enough. like like a little bop moment. And yeah. so, and I loved I playing it. in the dirt. So oh, yeah. I love that. And I love it because she's completely oblivious that that's her daughter. So like, I love it because it takes <laughs> no, a like, No, she's so like, who are you? But here you go. Here's a little <laughs> token of wisdom. <laughs> I love it. Well, listen, I cannot wait for audiences to see it. You guys are so, so fun. And so is this film. So thank you so much for taking the time to chat with The Beat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much.